Hey, what is going on guys, Darius here and welcome to a new video. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about Vector Magic. And basically what this software does, it's it turns raster images into vector images. So I managed to get my hands on a copy. They were super nice about it and gave me a review license. Now, before I say anything about this software, just so you know, my opinion is 100% my own from personal experience with the software. So I've had it for about a month and I've tried it like Every single feature of it, I've tried it. It's by far way more powerful than whatever Illustrator has for turning raster images into vector images. I've been mostly using it for client logos because they send us bad logos at work, you know, because their previous advertising agency or something uh, are out of business and they just 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 got the, this raster logo and don't know how to make a vector so instead of going into InDesign and doing it from scratch with uh, the pen tool or something I can just uh, pop it inside in the software and it will do everything for me so let me give you an example and just open up Photoshop and uh, let's see we have this flat image right let me just make a, a dummy logo so I don't know let's uh, put a circle in it Let's put uh, text in it with BA from Baca Arts, you know, just like that and put it in the center. So let's say that the client has this logo, right? Let me just make it even blurrier so I can uh, show you guys how powerful this is. It doesn't matter if your image is blurry. I mean, if it's sharper, then uh, it's definitely <laughs> better than uh, having a, um, a blurry blurry extremely blurry logo well this this works for example I mean the software can definitely work with this perfectly and turn it into a vector obviously if it's something tiny uh, the size of a nail it's not gonna vector it properly uh, but anyway if I uh, just grab this image let me just copy it it's pretty nifty since you can paste uh, from the clipboard right so if I can paste from the clipboard, it uh, just copies whatever I had in Photoshop, whatever I copied in Photoshop into the software. So I mean, I guess you can probably you can probably guess what's going to happen now. There's uh, they have advanced features, so you can fine tune everything, and they have simple multiple choice questions, which is pretty nicely. Before I do anything, I usually click on fully automatic and see how that performs, and if it's bad or something. If something weird comes out, then um, I'm just going to go and fine tune it myself and I can choose the settings so I get a uh, pretty nice result. Uh, but most of the time, like I swear, 80% of the time, the fully automatic, uh, fully automatic mode does everything. So check that out. Now it's officially a vector. And uh, obviously before I uh, do anything, I just remove the background because I just want the BA logo, right? I click next and uh, there's the detail level here, which will uh, change it automatically. It will make, you know, the image more detailed, obviously. You can choose the custom colors. So if you have black and white and black and white, you know, you don't, you don't want grays and stuff because it's going to look weird on the edges and whatever. <laughs> um, and I can save this into a lot of formats, actually PDF, SVG, AI, uh, was it an EPS, obviously, but it's going to be RGB. So for work, for example, I need to save things in, um, excuse me, let me just remove the background. I need to save things in CMYK because we, we, we print stuff, right? So if it's going to go on a t-shirt, I got to save it in CMYK. Uh, the, that's basically the only thing that bugs me about the software because I haven't found anything to let me change RGB to, um, CMYK directly from inside the software. I mean, I can, I'm going to do it in, in Illustrator, but whatever. So uh, let me just uh, save this EPS on the desktop and I'm going to import it into Illustrator. So I'm just going to grab the clipboard thing that I just saved and there you go. We have paths. So this is all paths as you can path, bleh, paths as you can see. And uh, you can now change it to uh, CMYK which is what I'm going to do. You don't have to do this. I mean, if you're making a web logo, you know, the you just need the web EPS, then go ahead, just use the EPS, um, the, 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 the RGB one. I'm going to switch to CMYK, and what I do is I make a, a new color process and just change it to K100 and the rest to zero. So it's 
100% black. Now it's ready for print. Another thing that I like is just uh, the effect that it gives to images. So if I can just grab this image, where is it? Where is it? Edit, copy, merged. I'm going to have it in my clipboard and I can just go to the start page and paste from the clipboard. And I'm just going to leave it on fully automatic and see how it performs. So after the software did its job, I can, like from this distance, you can't really see a difference from the original image. But if I zoom in, you can see that everything is vectored. Everything is now in paths. So I can uh, just save this as an EPS and uh, turn it into CMYK in Illustrator and use it as a, uh, I don't know, I can put it on a billboard or I can make a giant poster. So all in all, it's a pretty nifty software. It can be complex, it can be easy, it can be however you want it. Uh, the price is steep, but they certainly know their demographic. They know that companies are going to use this. Advertising companies are going to use this because they will have clients that will send them crappy logos and you will need something like this to speed up your workflow. I know for a fact and from trying it myself that it definitely sped up my workflow at work and I don't have to spend hours on vectorizing a logo from a client when I can just pop it into the software and get it done. So I am extremely happy. It's a wonderful piece of software. Easy to use. Price is a bit eh, but what you gonna do? This is meant mostly for companies instead of the average user. So if you're on the market for something like this, then you've found it. <laughs> this is it. And that's about it for the video. If you have a software that you want me to try and review, then just send me an email. The email is in the description and in my about page on YouTube. So all the links you need are in the description. And I hope this video wasn't too spammy or something. I'm just trying to uh, get a hold of a lot of software and see which one's good, which one's bad. And, you know, just uh, just make reviews because why not? Why not have review of graphical software on this channel also? And that's about it. I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.